there are a lot of people who work in the in the coffee industry in Rwanda, like a lot of farmers, um, the cooperatives, associations. Uh, all those people, basically, when you create something like this, um, you know, those people get jobs, right? So you're basically promoting, um, you you're creating jobs in, in Rwanda. Like, do you have a a way of tracking that and measuring like the impact your company is having on the on the communities? Or like how many people uh, that are being employed as a result um, of what you're doing? Yeah, that's a very beautiful question. The thing is, uh, the beauty about agribusiness is that uh, you get to impact a big number of people. Yeah. And, uh, this is why, because uh, if if you if you need to raise if you need to raise a full container of coffee, yeah. it's not one household that can grow this kind of coffee. Yeah, you know, uh, so so a full container of coffee needs a community kind of uh, you know production. Yeah. So um, these are the producers. These are the pro producers, but indirectly they are also your employees. You know. Yeah. So uh, you don't have uh, many employees in the company, but uh, you are actually indirectly employing people because if you're buying the product, you're actually uh, you know uh, paying them for for their production. So they're they are the producers for sure, but they're also working for a company because they actually have to produce, you know, um, you know these products. And that's the beauty of uh, agribusiness because uh, yeah. you cannot grow coffee uh, in your company kind of factory style because uh, it's not a production that you can manufacture in your company. It's the production that that you actually you know have to uh, bring to your company already kind of processed, semi-processed or maybe almost you know uh, processed. So, so, so we rely heavily on the farmers, uh, but of course they also rely heavily on us because we are the ones that actually buy their production. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, at the moment we work, we work with around um, uh, each year, each season we work with around um, maybe five cooperatives. Yeah. And uh, that's a huge number. Big number of of, of, uh, of people say. So let's say it's something more than five hundred, at least one thousand people. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Uh, so 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 that's quite a big number, you know. Well, of course it we is. don't buy the whole <laughs> produce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't buy the the the, the whole produce, but we buy some parts of their production. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Which of course you know it's 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 not that much because uh, what you're talking about because we ship around uh three uh containers. Uh, per season, and so uh, that's something around 60 tons. Yeah. So uh, it's not really that big of a deal uh, to uh, to uh, well, it is. It would be a big of a deal if you're buying only from one station, because one yeah. station has the capacity to make four, six, five, three. But uh, we try to uh, get different qualities from different places, so it's not so so much if you actually have a combined production, because. Yeah. Uh, uh, they can deal with maybe 80 containers. So it's a small fraction, but uh, we, we get to impact uh, some quite a number of people. Awesome. Positively, yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much for, you know, creating those jobs. Uh...